Now the next step is to get these two corners. There's only two, so it's easier. Um, so um, this corner piece would be the yellow, blue, orange, yellow piece. I mean, orange corner piece. So you want to look at this top layer for that piece. So if I look around, here it is. This is the yellow, blue, orange corner piece. So, I want to bring it over where it has to go. Right here. It's, it has to go here. So, it's up here. And, and this, there's three different cases. Um, first case is when the yellow, or this bottom color, is facing you. When it's facing you, you want to do a U, R, U prime, R prime and it should be there. Um, now you might have a case where well, the next case is when it's on the top. When it's on the top you want to do an R U2 R prime U prime. And now um, on to the third case and it's when the corner is the yellow is facing to the right. When it's facing to the right, you want to do an R, U, R prime. There you go. And yeah, when when it's at the top, it'll go to the right. So and now for the back edge, back corner piece. Um, this one it'll be the yellow, orange, green corner piece. So once again, I look at the stop layer for that corner piece. Here it is. So. I want to bring it above where it has to go, right here. And um, you want to make sure the green is facing it. And in this case, the yellow is facing to the left. When it's facing the left, you want to do an L prime, U prime, L. There you go. Um, hold on. When it's facing you, when it's facing to the front, you want to do a U prime, L prime, U, L. There it is. When it's on the top, you want to do an, an L prime, U2, L, U. And then it'll be on the left, I think. And then you solve it as I showed you before. And congratulations, you have these. Um, edge, these corner and edge pieces, and you have completed this 2x3 two by, two by block. So, um, the next step after getting the corners is to get these two edge pieces. Um, yeah, so you want to look at this empty edge piece. You always you look at this, and you want to see which edge piece has to go there. So this is the blue side and this is the orange side. So I want to put the blue and orange edge piece in here. And you always want to solve this edge piece first and this edge piece second. So I look at this top layer again for the orange and blue edge piece. Here it is. So I want to match up this bottom color with its side. So since it's blue, I want to bring it over the blue side like that. Now, um, this is the first case where the first edge piece is it's matched up on the front. The algorithm is U R U R prime U two R prime U R U prime little R U R prime U prime, M prime, and there you have it. Um, now let me just get the other case. Okay, here's the other case where. Oh, there you go. Um, here's the other case where that blue and orange edge piece 
is matched up, but it's on the right instead of the front. R. Um, U prime. In this case, you have to R prime. U prime. R. U prime. R prime. U. R. U. R prime. And there you go. Okay. After you have your first edge piece, uh, you want to turn it around and focus on this edge piece. Now, um, I got a bad case. Just ignore that this is here. So, in between these two centers, I want to have the orange and green edge piece. Orange, green. So, you would look on this top layer for that edge piece. Unfortunately, I have it in here, but it's flipped. Um, let me just do something quickly. Ignore what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I look on this top layer for that piece. Here I have it. So I want to match up this bottom color with its side. So since this is green, I bring it to the green side. There it is. Um, now in this case, the the color is on the front or the back rather because this is the front to this back um, and when it matches up on the f back or front you want to do this algorithm u prime l prime u prime l m prime u prime m u l prime u l m prime u prime M. And there you go. Um, now for the other case. Hold on. Okay, here's the other. Oh, wait. What? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Okay, here's the other case. Sorry about that. Um, this it's when the 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 edge piece, the second edge piece, the bottom color matches up with the with the left side. Um, when you have this case, you want to do this algorithm. L prime, U, L, U, L prime, U, L, U prime, L prime, U prime. L. There you have it. And um, as the case that you saw before, where this edge piece was flipped, you do either one of those algorithms, the one when it's either matched up here or matched up here, you do either one of those algorithms and then the edge piece should pop up at, onto the top layer. And then you could solve it as I told you before. And the thing to note, when the, when the first edge piece is matched up on the front and I showed you how to solve it it will take out this corner so uh, you, you'll have to put it back in so yeah congratulations you just solved your first two layers on your first cube now for the next step there are three different possibilities um, in this case I have this L, L shape. Um, when you have the L shape, you want to put this. You want to put it like I have right now, where the L is backwards and it's on the top left corner. So you want to make sure that's on the top, and you want to do this algorithm. Okay, sorry about that. So once again, you have this L shape in the top left corner. You. Um, Little R prime, prime do is R U I prime U prime Little R U prime Little R prime. Hopefully I said that right. And if you have the L, you should have this bar. This is the second case. When you have this bar or line, you wanna make it 
horizontal like I have right now. And make sure it's on the top. Then you want to do that same algorithm. Little r, u, little r prime, r, u, r prime, u prime, little r, u prime, little r prime. And you should have that cross. The third case is when you have just this dot and none of the other edge pieces are showing. When you have that case, it doesn't really matter how this is positioned. You just do that algorithm as I told you before and you should get this L.